What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether series. In our last episode, our top comment was from Rich, saying he wants us to do the M60, so that's what we're going to be doing today. He also said he wants us to do it with a controller, and I've seen a lot of you guys asking. So today, we're going to be playing with a controller as well. I'll show you guys my camo progress really quick. I went through and I played a game with the M60 last night, and I actually got a lot done. Way more than I was expecting to. I still have like a thousand criticals to go, but I only played one game with it, and everything's basically done. So I'm hoping... This doesn't take too long, but I've literally, I've never played zombies. I've never played zombies in this game on controller. I haven't played zombies on controllers since like the first Black Ops. So th this should be interesting. I know with Deadshot with a controller with uh, the aim assist, it's like, it's like aim lock and you'll get like a million crits. So I'm hoping that helps. But these are my attachments for the M60. Uh, mill stop reflex, agency suppressor, task force barrel, ember sighting point, bruiser grip, 125 round fast mag, airborne elastic, and the raider stock. I'm also going to be using ring of fire. I'm Should I get aether shroud? My movement is awful on a controller, so I'm sure I'm going to get myself cornered at some point. But ring of fire is really nice for LMGs. I'm going to keep ring of fire. If we, if we go down, we go down. I'm hoping we can get this done in one game. Well, because once I record something for over like a half hour, Streamlabs just decides like it wants to start freezing. I'm going to try to speed run getting to a thousand crits as fast as possible. First time using controller. Let's see how we do. All right, the twin and I heading into battle. Little does he know, I'm coming in with a controller. Just really quick to prove to you guys. There's removing, shooting, and it, see it says keyboard and mouse locked. I didn't even touch it. I think my sensitivity might be a little low. Let me change that really quick. I'm going to play on eights. Okay. We're still hitting our crits. How do I lay down? Okay. Actually, I remember last time we played with the controller, my button layout was wrong. I think I need to go tactical. There we go. I think this is more what I'm used to. Okay. Lay down. And we'll hang out here for a little bit. Uh, you guys have been screaming at me to uh, just buy the left door. And then you, I don't have to really buy any other doors. And I don't know why I haven't even tried it. I, you just like stick with what you know. Especially since I, how new I was to zombies. But now, like last night when I played it, I went left door and I was running around through everything. It's way cheaper. I can get everything on so much faster. I don't know why I didn't attempt it. The crits are getting a little difficult. I just got to get used to... Uh, Pushing up on the on the stick before shooting. A little too high. Well, I've been I've been busting my ass recently. I've been trying to get as much content out for you guys as possible. I've been trying to stick with daily uploads at least through like the week. I've been taking the weekends off. Uh, if you guys don't know, I still work full time. I didn't want to reload. I just wanted to pick that up. I don't want to get too into what I do like specifically just for privacy reasons. So I hope you guys understand. When I work, I work the graveyard shift which for me is 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So I've been working that 40 hours a week for the last like two years. And at the same time, I'm still trying to like record, edit, upload, stream, you know, try to get as much done as possible. I might be getting more time in the future. I've, I've talked to... Uh... I've talked to people at my work and I might be going part time soon. So I'll have more time to uh, edit and record and stream and all that. So I know you guys are always like, why do you upload so early? Why is this, you know, fix your sleep schedule? Uh, I literally can't for my job. I'm usually uploading right around, like right before I go to sleep for the most part. So when you see a video, like go up, that means like I'm probably about to go to bed. Hopefully soon, uh, I'll be going part time and I'll have more time to work on, on shit for you guys. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to have like more time in the day to get things done, have some like free time. I was trying to get ahead on videos because it's my, uh, it was my girlfriend's birthday. It was my girlfriend's birthday last week. So I already knew I wasn't going to be home to be able to record or edit or anything. So I wanted to get ahead on videos and then bang, pink eye hits me. So I had to go, I actually had to go to an urgent care to be able to see a doctor fast enough to get that two minute appointment to be able to get those like drops prescribed to get rid of it in time for her birthday it's a whole fiasco what i'm trying to say is like anytime i try to get ahead on videos or get something done faster to stay on some sort of schedule something comes up and i have so such a limited amount of time there we go. But I have, I have such a limited amount of time that it makes it, it makes it difficult to catch back up so hopefully going part-time here gives me 
you know just a, a little a little more freedom to be able to you know make content and then hopefully i, I can have like a, another day to to stream because i've been unfortunately having to miss like some st some stream days because either something will come up i'll get pink eye like i did or i'll just be like too tired from from work the previous day or from work earlier that day and you know i just need a break sometimes i'm not burnt out or anything i i would I would work 60 hours a week and still like fucking grind my ass off on YouTube. Like I, I, I love doing it. But this part-time thing should be good for me. Should be good for you guys. Should be good for everyone all around. I'm still not used to trying to get crits like this. On keyboard and mouse, you can basically just keep your crosshair like head level and then you aim in and it goes there. For the aim assist, it feels like it goes to like nipple level and you have to push up. Like it doesn't automatically start at head level. I think Deadshot remedies that so uh i guess we'll see when we get it but for now we might be a little off on our crits yeah we're 53 out of 70 usually i'm almost oh fucking hell a fucking mimic that's not good oh okay well i guess that was fucking easy that shit actually scared me though oh get off we literally oh so much for our speed cola right as we got the reactor online too i knew i'm going to be getting myself cornered with controller this is bad news bears. Now, I don't know. I've seen people say not to unlock this door because that's a good spot to like sit there and farm camos. Ooh, look at that. Instead of reloading, picking up the max ammo. Big brain, galaxy brain. I've been seeing people say not to open this door because you can just sit in the, the bioweapons lab. The farm camo's kind of like the colonel's office. I think I prefer the colonel's office just because it has like that window way out. Like if I get overwhelmed. But if this is a better place to do it, I'm I'm all down for it. Actually, yeah, because if you sit here, they can only come from there and there. I guess it would be better later on. Let me upgrade this. Do I have enough to get through? I do. Sick. That's the problem. I don't know if there's a way to change this on controller. There probably is. I'm not too well versed in the controller world to know. But every time I open a door, it's instantly making me want to or making it reload. I really can feel the auto aim kind of tug in there. I was trying to aim at the guy at the reactor and it's like, oh, the guy inside. Okay. I got to make sure not to get cornered here once these fuckers stop going after the reactors. There we go. Hey, let me get all these parts. Grab my loose change. There we go. I'm going to grab jug. Some people say to grab like dead shot or like speed or something first. What, what order should you get your perks in? And is there a, like an actual dead shot machine or do you have to get it from like the... The big vending machine. Because I have not seen a dead shot machine on here. So I usually just grab like jug, speed, and stamina up. Your controller kind of feels nice. I think I want to I want to try to get good at both controller and keyboard and mouse. If I can be like a dual threat, that'd be awesome. Like the problem with playing keyboard and mouse is that like you get so used to your specific keyboard and your your specific mouse and all your sensitivity settings and your DPI settings and just like the feel and the weight of the mouse can really make a difference in how you play. Like you can play keyboard and mouse at like a friend's house or something. And it'd still be like like off enough to throw you off. But with a controller, all you got to do is change some sensitivity settings and then you're chilling. So I feel like getting good at both would help a lot if I ever go play like in other places. Because even like, you know, the height of the desk or the position the mouse is in and things like that, like where they have their, their keyboard and everything. It all heavily plays into, especially like if you're someone like me who's constantly on their computer playing shit, that they get so used to a certain layout that if it's off, it just doesn't work as well. I should not have killed him. I need to run back fast. Actually, I only have 5,000. I'll wait here another round. So I want to be able to get Deadshot and Pack-A-Punch. I want to get Deadshot first, I think. Now, I am using the M60 from the Ice Drake bundle, which does have, like, ice tracers. Does it already have the ice ammo mod, or is that the only ammo mod I can get? Because when I was using it last night, the only ammo mod it let me purchase was the ice one, the Cryo Freeze, and it shows there in the bottom right maybe i'll move the webcam up a bit actually i always put the webcam in the bottom right corner but i think i might start having it float a little bit over that little toolbar so you guys can see like what i have well, holy shit these crits are just piling in 146 is not bad i've seen them <laughs> get 10 times that we got one zombie left we can get dead shot and pack a punch oh I might be wrong for doing this because everyone has their own way of playing zombies and they see somebody do something differently and it's like they're up in arms about it. You know, me opening this door here, does that hurt my the, the zombie feed into control room? So I only do that so I don't have to run around the whole map just to get back to the teleporter. But like if there's better strats, let me know. And I have checked out uh, some Samuel the 17th videos. I, wa I watched him get to like level 100 with a crossbow, which is insane to me because I don't think I've ever been past like round... 
like 40. I don't have enough for dead shot. I am just a few, like not even a hundred away. Okay, now we can grab it. Stop reloading every time I touch something. There's gotta be something to switch like opening or buying things from toggle to hold. Yeah, cause I'm trying to pick that up and it's making me reload. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dead shots crit city. I am in the worst spot. I'm begging to be cornered. What? Okay, I'll reload again. This is easy money. That's nothing but crits. Okay, uh, I'll get my speed cola back and then I'll get quick revive next. But for now, I'm not staying here. I hate this first area. But I think it'd be really cool if I could work with Samuel. Uh, if you guys want to hit up his comments, I think it'd be sick if he can show me how to get to, to round 100. I think that'd be a fun video. Do I need to adjust anything or is everything just going to be a crit here? I just have to... Do I have to like tap, aim in, aim out? Or is it all just going to be nothing but crits? I think I just need to tap it a little bit. They're not in a straight line. The controller's kind of fun to play on. I really liked it in multiplayer, but only for sniping. I can't get any other guns down in multiplayer except a sniper. But I think sniping's actually been my calling because whenever like I need to pop off or I need to like get a nice amount of kills or get like some nice feed, it's always just with the LW3. Like I feel like I've been missing opportunities not sniping. So so I think when we when we head over to league play, I think our, our top comment currently on our last multiplayer challenge video was for me to play league play. And I am down to do that. And I've been trying to think, like, I know that League Play, like, the CDL rule format has, like, certain attachments and things that are off limits. Like, certain things that you can use in normal multiplayer, but you can't in the CDL rule set. So I was thinking, like, what gun should I use? Like, what gun is, like, the meta right now? And I think that the LW3 is, like, the best sniper in the game, so. I have, like, no sense of self-preservation when I play multiplayer. I'll run in. I'll get, I'll get three kills, five kills fast, and then I'll die. I'll be like, all right, sweet, let's do that again. And I'll keep going and going and going. Like, I don't have the craziest KD. But I feel like with a sniper, I have better self-preservation. I'm like, okay, I missed that shot. I need to go, like, hang out here, not get fucking killed, and then I'll go back out and take another shot. Using the sniper and the crossbow and things like that, I think give me more like self-preservation like techniques also than a knife i think when we go do play cdl i will i'll be using the lw3 or not cdl league play i'm acting like i'm gonna go pro or something well i'll talk about that more in the league play video also going back to me talking about me working full time and not having a lot of time to like record and edit and everything but i'm like i'm filling it in where i can uh, i'm gonna be recording multiple videos today so if you see me wearing like the same clothes it's it's all from the same day like i'm gonna go record the league play stuff after this and then maybe even try to get the crossbow gold but i think this hoodie's pretty fucking cool anyways so it can it can be in a few videos i know i talked about this last week but i tried to just record what i could and get that up what was the easiest to record what was like fastest but i want to try to get a schedule going where like i have certain types of videos on certain days and then maybe have like one day where it alternates between like different types of content my thoughts right now is like on Mondays, I'll do a Road to Dark Aether. Uh, Tuesdays is either going to be like multiplayer challenge or like camo deep dive or something. I'm not too sure yet. But I, I want to try to do like two Road to Dark Aethers a week, a multiplayer challenge video, and then maybe a Warzone. I haven't been playing a lot of Warzone, but I want to get more Warzone content out there. And then maybe we can have a series. Like if I like League Play uh, after today, like when I try it out, I might make it into a series. But I, I know competitive games and things like that get super tired toxic and I'm, I'm not gonna let that have i'm not gonna sit there and you know put myself through that and like deteriorate my mental health just to just to play cod a little competitively but you know you never know it could be it could be good to, it could be a fun series to like solo queue and see how high of a rank i can get you know see how far i can go actually i'm gonna save all all this this talk for the the league play video but i'm excited to try it out is what i'll leave it at i've also been having a lot of fun with zombies uh i've been playing with some friends too the, they've like just started playing zombies so it's been fun to show them the ropes a little bit because not even like a month or two ago i had i had no idea what i was doing in zombies so it's cool to be able to pass along like the knowledge that i've learned you know like everything i've learned in this like short amount of time and i want to get more outbreak stuff going but i but firebase is just so good for grinding that's hard to play anything else hey get off of that oh yeah dead shot's easy 331 
Okay, that was just a normal kill. I don't need to exfil yet. I'm chilling. Okay, I'm gonna leave one at the end of this round. I'm gonna go finish off what perks I need, pack a punch again, and then I'm chilling until I can pack a punch for the third time. Nope. Not grabbing it. There we go. I almost didn't know how to use the field upgrade there. Oh, you're a crawler. Goodbye. Yeah, it's actually not bad on a controller, especially since I'm, like, not moving. You the last of, of your kind? Okay, I'm out of here. I keep forgetting I gotta take the bridge. I'm so used to just running back the other way. Way more casual to play on a controller, I'll say. So I don't have to be, like, leaning way forward. I can kind of just sit back and chill and play. Keep my hands, like, in my lap. That's, an that's like, another reason why I want to get decent at a controller. So if I just want to hang out and chill... Maybe even play from, like, my bed or something. I can do that. Let's get this pack-a-punch. So let's get... Yeah, see, I only have the option for cryo-freeze. I mean, it would be kind of stupid to have, like, a tracer pack that is, like, ice. And then go get, like, the, the napalm blast one. Like, that's just... That's just blasphemy. That shit don't even look cool. So I guess it makes sense. I don't know. Having the option would be nice. I, I'm not complaining too much. We're going to use cryo anyways to help get crits easier. And to just slow them down. Give us a little extra time to reload if we need to. Not a bad move. All right. Now let's go back to Colonel Office Simulator. And just chill in here. I want to see how easily this tracks. Yeah, I'm just like tapping LTRT. And that's just me holding it down. I feel like just holding it down is fine. I mean, it's not a huge difference because with PC, with like keyboard and mouse, I can literally just aim right here and they'll just walk into it anyways without the aim assist. I don't know why it pushed me away from him there. That's kind of weird. I didn't touch that at all. But once he came up those stairs, he just moved and moved my crosshair to the right. But so far, so good. We've only been down once. We're getting our crits up. We're doing pretty well. Oh shit, I should probably buy a self-revive at some point. Especially since I don't have tombstone. Also... Is tombstone broken? Because I upgraded my tombstone all the way up to five. And it says like, oh, you, do, you're, you don't have any perk decay when you go down if you have tombstone. That's some bullshit. Because there's been multiple times I've been, I, I've gone down with tombstone level five on. I don't know if I need to activate my tombstone shadow like as fast as possible for there not to be any perk like decay. But every single time there's been perk decay. So I don't know if it's busted, if it's broken. People have said not even not to use tombstone for some reason. Like everyone just says, oh, don't use that. And they never give me an explanation why. I get it for like some ammo mods. Like obviously it's going to take away crits and all that. And like elemental cola is going to be taking away your crits because it's just a random ammo mod. But why not Tombstone? What's wrong with Tombstone? The people just be like, don't do that. And I'll be like, why? And then you're like, mm. so if there's like an actual strat to it, let me know. We're almost halfway there. Where's this last zombie at? Why are you so late? We're getting to the point here where we're just 6,000 away from third pack a punch and then we just sit here. Oh, fuck. I sh I'm going to run to get a self revive, actually. I have a little bit of time. Get it with my little fists out. Where is it? Support. I don't have enough. Okay, let's see how I maneuver. With just controller. Not bad so far. We got hit a few times, but... Ooh, that was pretty sweet. We're chilling. For Kirtle's office, I think ever since I've been doing, like, the, the door method, I say ever since, like, this, I've, I've been doing it for weeks. This is literally my second time. With this other, like, door method of just only buying one of the three doors at a helicopter and then coming here, I feel like zombies have been coming, like, in smaller groups. So should I just sit at helicopter and train for a bit and then lead them back here? Or what's, like, the most optimal strat? Do I have enough for a self-revive kit now? Nope. I don't even have level 2 armor, so I'm gonna grab that. I can get it from this mannequin here. I always forget there's a mannequin over here. What's up, big fella? Looking handsome. Okay, let's go get Pack-a-Punch 3, and then vibe out, as the kids say. There we go, having fun. He's playing RuneScape or something. Oh, of course. It's a fucking assault wave. Wait a second. I need to go through the beach. This is also a problem. I am not there to help. Oh, I'm chilling. I can just go upstairs here yeah these guys don't stand a fucking chance let me grab this artillery strike i think robocop's here there he is oh he's dead i was i was about to say i'm wondering if with controller does the crit lock like for for mimics and manglers does it lock towards their crit point like mangler's gun and like a mimic's mouth or does it just does it just go straight to their head i guess we'll have to test next time we see a mangler but for now, I think it's just going to be Colonel's office for the rest of this fucking video until we get the 500 other critical kills we need. This has been a fast turnover on camos. 
two games in, in gold, that's that's fast. I'm still only like one kill away from getting my Sigma gold and then like one game away on my M82. But what weapon I do next is up to you guys. If you want to see me use controller more, I'm down. Just not with the M82 or the launchers. Any other weapon though, I will do controller because this is kind of fun. Yeah, see like there's a little bit of a line for a second. And then there's just nothing but stragglers to end it. I think I'm going to test the method of training at helicopter for a little bit and then running back here. Let me make sure this shit's reloaded. 12 bullets is not good. And while I'm here, I guess I'll grab a self-revive. Not too bad so far to train, but we don't have a whole lot. Okay, it kind of went there, but it seemed like it wanted to pull towards his head. Is this everyone? Okay, why don't you guys come, come step into my office? Oh, fucking mimic. Yeah, I think this is everyone. Maybe these rounds just feel so short because I've been using like... The M60 seems like such an easy gun in zombies. Like, all you gotta do is lay on the trigger. Like, look at that. Oh, eyes are closed. I opened them the second I, I heard something close to me. Mimic. Come on. You should know by now. All right, and then we'll save up for legendary. And then that's basically the only thing we have left to get. We have all of our perks, I'm pretty sure. We just don't have Tombstone or Elemental, and we don't really need those. But I will say, Elemental Pop, really fucking cool. Same with Brain Rot. But I know they're awful for challenges, so I won't be doing them. But if I do play Zombies for fun, I will be using that. Only 300 away. But damn, this recording's getting long. It doesn't feel long, though. Just laying on the trigger in Zombies is so satisfying. Mangler, don't even attempt to leave there. Mangler, you're not leaving the window. Okay, you left the window, but that... You didn't get too far. Do not leave that window, Mangler. You gotta tell him every time, every round. And he's like, okay, I'll leave it anyways. Mangler, don't think about it. You gotta tell him every time. We're only 100 away. We should be done right around the time we need to exfil. Or at least like a round or two before. And this is what I'm talking about in zombies. I'm at 71,000. I have everything bought that I need. I'm sure I could just hit the box or something until I get like Ray Care or some or whatever. What do I do with all this money? Uh-oh. Mangler made it out the window. Oh, that's feed. Show me that gold. There's no way we're far off from it now. We're getting it this round. 100%. It feels so much more satisfying on a controller. Like, the amount this shit starts to vibrate when you're schmeating out this hard is ridiculous. Like, it's just, it's fucking awesome, actually. I might go down here, though. Which I am not gonna let happen. Nope. Okay, that's the one time we've had to use the window. Yeah, we're like five kills away. Show me gold. That's got to be it right there. I'll even throw a stun for it. Nope. All right. I guess I guess this last round, we're, we, we're on perfect timing here. We're only 50 salvage away from getting legendary. So everything's perfect timing. Come on, Mangler. I know you want to come through that window. You, know, you might have beaten us a few times coming through here. You know, you've tested us. But I'm not letting it happen again. Okay, I'll let it happen again. Hey, we need this ring of fire. Holy shit. Oh my god. Give me that. Oh, there's Golden Viper. Let's go. Reload. I know I didn't have to reload because we still had a little bit. Oh no. Oh no. We still had a little bit of our, our ring of fire left, but it was ending. We finally fucking got gold on this thing. I probably didn't need to hop out. I was thinking the round was close to over. And it's not looking like it. So let me just clear these guys out. Let's go get this thing to legendary. Kill this last zombie. Exfil as fast as possible. And get out of here with our gold. Oh, we have an exfil opportunity? Don't mind if I do. This death machine's just in case we get into a pickle. But I think we're chilling. This is its own death machine. It always gets to this point where there's two zombies left and they're nowhere near where all the other ones were at. And they end up actually just coming in late, like these two. Like, so stupid. We didn't even need it. That was easy, actually. I really like playing on a controller. I need to get better at it. Look at that. I expelled my fist out, so he's just sitting there awkwardly. All right, let's go look at it. I'm 60. Oh, I have my blueprint on it. Let me take the blueprint off. It does kind of look cool with it on, though. Not gonna lie. But that's the M60 with uh, Golden Viper. It looks like shit. Plague Diamond a little better. Dark Aether looks awful on it. That is terrible coverage. Who, who agreed on that? Who signed off on that? 
But anyways, that's going to be it for today's Road to Dark Aether. Uh, if you liked it and you want to see more, leave a like on it. Uh, if you didn't and you don't, dislike. Uh, make sure you leave a comment below on what weapon you want to see next. Uh, the top comment will be the weapon that we use in the next video. I'm also down to keep using controller. Uh, if you're new here, sub. We're on the road to 100k. Link to my merch store will be in the description below, as well as my affiliate link for Secret Labs. If you're looking to get a gaming chair, uh, you can use that link and help me out. But uh, that's it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.